It's a sticky, humid morning. You know, one of those mornings where you gotta take off all your clothes, Zeke. <laughs> we are headed out for an early breakfast and then we are off to the White House for a tour. So we gotta move. What blasphemy did you just see, Zeke? Somebody was riding a bike wrong direction on this busy street right here and they were jeopardizing the cup of coffee they had in their hand. And which was the biggest violation? I'm torn. I really am torn. Oh my gosh, it is so hot and humid here. Are we in Mexico? No, we are in the south though, south of the Mason-Dixon line. Yeah, we are going on a tour of the White House. It's a self-guided tour and I think we have another check uh, it's a safety check to go through. What we can't expect is that we're not allowed to use video. So we might have a few uh, photographs from inside, but we're uh, gonna try not to be those tourists. We were not allowed to take any bag. Let's follow the other people and let's go. done with a self-guided tour of the White House and it was pretty impressive. It was fun to be able to go through all the rooms. I think we saw more than I expected we would see. Yeah, it was a good little history lesson. Uh, the interesting thing for me was that it's not just a museum. They actually use this space and pretty much every day the guy said. They run tours until 12 o'clock at which point they roll the carpets back out so that it can be used by the president and visiting dignitaries and others who are in the administration. And thanks, Zeke, for arranging that with Kevin Mullen's office. Um, he helped with the Capitol tour and he helped set this up. And it's the only way that you can set up a tour is through your local congressman. We just popped into the Women in, uh, what was the National Museum of Women in the Arts, uh, which I went to yesterday without Zeke. And I wanted him to see just the entryway, not the entryway, the, the main area, which was the building is a work of art as well. Talk to the security gal who's checking our bags as we walk in, and she goes on and on and on about the art. I loved how passionate she was about the art in this particular museum, specifically focused on women. And we have seen that over and over again by the, not only her, but also the at the White House, the uh, Secret Service guy, and then at other museums. Everybody's been super passionate regardless of the role that they play within the organization. We are going to the Kennedy Center to see Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Well, that's actually not the right one, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. Um, I mean, we just watched the movie right before our youngest went off to, to Stockholm, but it is a favorite and it's the only thing that's playing at the Kennedy Center and I'd really like to check this off. There could list. be there could be worse movies or <laughs> productions. Productions to see. to see. Yeah. Um, but I'm heartened to hear that our youngest who's in Stockholm is at the Fringe Festival, checking out things throughout Stockholm, which is a bold move for them. And then our oldest just took their girlfriend's dog camping out in the middle of nowhere in Colorado Mountains and managed to go over the what pass? The Gatlinburg or some place he shouldn't have taken a 2020 Subaru Forester. So we're super proud of our kids, even though they stress us out. Now we've got to get out of the sauna of the heat of DC and into the air conditioning and go uh, hopefully not sing along with Mamma Mia. It's going to be hard to resist. just 
wrapped up Mamma Mia live at the Kennedy Center in the Opera Hall with a lot of folks that if the music was too loud for them, could turn down their hearing aids. Yeah, it was a uh, definitely an older, very white crowd. What was a good thing was the cast was a diverse cast. We were very happy to see that. I was tearing up because it's always the movie that I watch with our youngest before they go off someplace. And so. And right now they are in the land of ABBA. That and is. Mama Mia. And they've been to the ABBA Museum in Stockholm. And uh, I wonder if they'll go with it, if it's worth it to go when we go to Stockholm in October. Just a little spritz. I just don't want to have to redo my hair <laughs> later. wet outside. We have some major thunderstorms going on right now. Lucked out with a couple of really nice Uber drivers mm -hmm. and we got over to dinner with a friend of Gary's from years uh, ago. Clubhouse, who I met four years ago this month. Uh, saw her two years ago in Paris and uh, it was really good to see her in person. I hadn't realized how much I missed her. And we went to a place called Flatfish, which is an Afghan restaurant and had some amazing food. And so tomorrow we will have a couple of small, small adventures. It's supposed to rain some more, so we're not sure how much adventure is going to go on, but we're going to be mainly here making another video. Well, we've gotten outside for our work day to go get a coffee and uh, a baked good. A and croissant from Petite Cerise, my new favorite place. And I'm completely fine with walking through drizzle at 75 degrees versus the blaring sauna we were in yesterday. Yeah. Although it said it was only like 86, 87 degrees, but in the sun with the humidity. Felt like a million. Oh my God. Is that your third cup of coffee for the day? Maybe four. Uh, how are you feeling? Well, since I've been up since three something probably, uh, I'm exceptionally tired. Um, but at the same time, after four cups of coffee, I'm kind of crawling out of my skin. So what would happen if I got you a fifth cup of coffee? Because we have videos to edit and I need you to... Uh, I, the self-destruct button would probably <laughs> come into play and no videos would get made. <laughs> So with the drizzle has subsided and we are heading down to the Carnegie Library and Apple Store. So it's an old uh, Andrew Carnegie Library from 1902. It was the first integrated library or institution of its kind in the United States. And we're going to go do the, the demo of the goggles. The Vision sort. Pro. Vision, Apple Vision Pro Apple Pro. Apple. demos of the Apple Vision Pro headsets and uh, my mind is totally blown and I'm thinking through how we can use it and how Zeke and Terry Adventures can go immersive. This is insane! <laughs> poke around and, and see what we can do. Terry's phone actually already has the capability to record that. We are going to test out uh, panoramic and we're going to test out the spatial video capture. Zeke is gonna go try to edit it in Final Cut Pro and we're gonna bring it back on Sunday, see how it works. But what I'm gonna be spatially immersing myself in right now is dinner. Dinner was amazing. We have not had a meal that good in a really long time. And they did a fixed price thing and we know it's going to get very expensive. It's a spin-off of the Dabney, which I think is a Michelin star restaurant. And this was Michelin star quality food in a, an unpretentious French California flavorful situation really very good glad we were able to get in there we will see you next week we're gonna go finish editing a video hey Zeke it is so hot outside how do people live in this weather 